Today for everyday carry defense, EDC defense, is my baton of choice. I love the Monadnock, okay? This is the best baton I've ever had. It is auto lock Monadnock. It's a power grip or power tip. And basically you can deploy it by pulling it and you can put it back in by pressing a button, releasing it and pushing it in. It's the easiest thing. It sounds good. You can hold it and pop it out. You can hold it backwards, pop it up sideways it doesn't matter how you want to this thing's going to deploy deploy now the first time i got one of these i'll put it where you can see it i was worried about the wobble okay the wobble to me just didn't seem right i called the company they explained why it's a patent that they made that makes this thing always 100 percent guaranteed to deploy and return back in i have used others asp other ones that tend to come out halfway and they get stuck um, when it's freezing cold out there for 20 minutes working baton work and they get stuck to where you it is work to get them out and so the way they explained it to me is they made it slightly wobbly i had to get used to it i did not like it at first but after a couple of months i absolutely loved it i wouldn't go back to any other baton a couple things right now i just have a cheap holster it works for now i've never had a nice one but that's one of my things on my list hopefully in may but one more cool thing about this is it comes in a couple sizes I have the 26 inch. I started this one. I keep it on my bag. And it honestly usually stays by my dresser at home. But this is the 26 inch. When you pop it out, that thing is long, powerful, heavy, and strong. I love this thing. So long one, same thing. Pull it out, it's just double the size. Doesn't matter what you do with this thing. The idea is this thing is heavy, it's solid, and one thing I always picture is I see police videos, they're hitting car windows. Boom, with the end of the baton trying to break the window. I always wonder, why don't you just turn around backwards and use the, the metal grip at the end to break car windows on? I'm not going to try it on my Bronco, but hey. But I've always wondered that. Okay, Now this is meant as a safety tip. The cool thing with this is you can strike with it and it's not going to penetrate the bone. That's what this is for. But if you want to break a car window, why not just use the back of it or strike it another different way? I've always wondered that. But so the two sizes, I love these. Self-defense business. Open them, open them. You've got two totally different sizes. I never liked the small one until I got used to it. I loved the big one. But when I started playing with all the different things that you can do with the batons, and I figured out, you know, how to actually use them for what you want to use them for. I love the short one in the in the left hand, long one in my right hand, or just really go for the small one. But there's so many advantages to the uh, um, Monadnock expandable baton, especially with the button lock and the grip top. Oh, I mean grip top, the power top. And then mine also have the rubber handles. You can get them. I got mine from Cops Plus. There's so many places that you can get them, but pretty much Monadnock, I believe, is pretty hard to find. So if you find it, I would definitely get it. I definitely suggest it. I love these things. Um, since I had these, I don't really plan to go to any other brand. And I believe it's it's all um, lifetime warranty. But so far, I have not had an issue, and I have beat these things up on 2x4s and woods and heavy bags and heavy bags surrounded with 1x4s and against each other. This one right here has broken every other baton I've ever had. I used to always carry the small one. This is what this, this holster was actually bought from, but I've always carried these, and these have broken every one of these. The problem with the traditional comes out nice but you cannot put it back in without beating it back on the ground and if you're the guy that does not practice with these enough it's not going to happen under stress okay um so these guys push button awesome deal this guy you can't put back in this holster you can put them back in other holsters which i've seen people complain that the holsters allow the thing to go through and it drops and of course that's what you want to do it's designed to where you're done with it you don't have to go down and tap it on the ground and then put it back in your holster, okay? It's designed to, once you pop it out, you put it in your holster so you can come back to it later. So the people that complain that there's a bottom, there's a hole in the bottom of their holster, 
they need to learn what it's for. Anyway, my weapon of choice is the baton. My brand of choice is the, I think it's 18 inch, um, Monadnock power tip, push button, auto lock. I love these things and I really won't go back anywhere else. And this little guy, I always keep the door panel, keep it on my Bronco. When my kids were little and I used the stroller, I, I kept it on the stroller. I carry these everywhere because it's a 100% legal self-defense tool. You can use So I keep them in my car at all times. When my kids are young, I kept them on my strollers. I'd keep them wherever because they're legal, the street legal, don't have to have a weapon, license form. If you are a felon, it's not illegal to carry. There's so many pluses to actually carrying a baton on you. And um, it's one of my one of my go-to weapons for sure. Now, I'm gonna cover more on the expandable baton uh, later on, but basically, basically, one thing I love about this is have it in a way that when you pull it out, you don't have to deploy it. You can strike with it, you can hit with it, you can hook with it. You can do so much with this. If you have to, you can deploy it and then use it for other you know, ideas. But the idea is you don't have to. If you do, it's okay. If you don't, it's okay. But the cool thing is there's so much that you can do and practice with this baton. And realistically for self-defense, I, I guarantee most of the time you won't even have to open it. And if you do, they deserve it. Have a good night. Hey guys, as of today, May 3rd, I have 72 subscribers. I had 60 for like 10 years. So I think I'm doing good at 72, but help me get to the thousand mark, okay? Send this, subscribe, like, share, whatever it takes. Help me get my channel grown. And if there's something that you want to see or my opinion on something for self-defense, I know everyone has opinions, but if you want mine, please let me know. I'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.